Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Bowie Antulovic here. So, did you ever wonder how we used to shoot spaceship models for film and TV? Stay tuned. And here we have the basic setup. It's actually very simple. I have the model here on this little thing that I created. The green screen is in the back. And what matters is that the model itself is actually not moving, but rather the camera moves, which creates the illusion that the model is actually doing all the moving. And then basically what you do is you position a model in different positions and then using a slider, you move the camera around it, which creates the illusion that the model is actually moving through space. In my case, I used a Moza slide pod to move the camera left and right and up and down to make it look like the ship is actually moving through space. Now you can use various sliders. It doesn't have to be a specific one, but as long as the camera is moving, you can achieve the same effect. Once you have all that done, you take it into a program like After Effects, like I did here. So it's very simple what I did here. First of all, we apply the key light effect to get rid of the green screen. And then um, as you can see here, I have a mask. So I'm just gonna turn that on. Uh, that basically gets rid of the stand here. And uh, you know, once we have that, that's almost there. Then uh, what I did in order to mask this out a bit more, I duplicated this layer and I created a uh, mask around that just to bring this back. Um, again, this will depend on how you shoot it. This will depend on the, the color of of the object and the lighting, yada yada. There's various things there. And then so I um, I created the um, keys for this mask and also keys for this mask up here. And then basically that's it. If you run that from beginning to end, it creates the illusion that the ship is actually moving, which is excellent. And then what we have, I got a background here. So this consists basically of two layers. The first one is this layer that looks like space, which is basically, I use the uh, CC particle world uh, filter and then, uh, you know, you tweak it and you make it look like space. And then I added the uh, fog uh, filter, which uh, if you look up fog in After Effects, you get this fog lights. So I added that to it and, um, you know, change some parameters around it. Um, uh, just to, you know, give it a certain look and uh, you add these two together and then we go to this guy here and uh, that's basically what it looks like. And then in Premiere Pro, I just added another filter just to make this look a bit more aged. It's just a noise filter just to give it more of that 60s uh, film grain uh, type of a look. And uh, that's basically for the most part that's it all right guys so i hope you found this video interesting this is just something that uh, i just love um i mean i love cgi all that good stuff visual effects but um i also love the old way of shooting models right there's just something about it when done right it just looks really cool right so i um, just wanted to show you the basics of it obviously you can go a lot more in depth with this you can uh, shoot a lot more uh, elaborate shots the way you position the camera right I was basically just moving, going um, you know left and right up and down but uh, you could go on an angle I mean the sky's the limit if you have a, a tabletop motorized slider I did a video about that one so check it out if you have this guy you could position it so it uh, you know instead of going left and right it kind of goes in a circular motion or half circle uh, motion and uh, you can get a lot more interesting shots that way right so um like i said the sky's the limit you don't need much this is the cool thing if you want to start exploring with this so what do you need you obviously need a camera you need some kind of a slider you could use a manual slider right um i do think motorized sliders are better but worst case if you have a steady hand you could do it uh, obviously you need a camera for green screen as you saw, I'm actually using a uh, uh, one of those. Uh, if you go to dollar store, you you can usually in the arts and um, 
art section. You have uh, these uh, stacks of cardboard paper, right? Different colored ones. So I bought one that's close enough to the, uh, the green screen color and uh, that did the trick. Um, I do have a green screen cloth, but and I tried it at first, but man, it is so wrinkled up because I haven't really used it in a while. And uh, I tried ironing it and it just uh, didn't work. So I f used this guy and it worked just fine, right? So um, obviously the size of the model will depend on uh, what you can do, how big of a green screen you need and all that good stuff. Um, but um, yeah, as you saw, you don't need much to get started. You basically have to think almost in reverse because, um, you know, because the object is stationary, but the camera is actually moving. So, you know, you have to think of it, okay, if I move the camera up, what's the spaceship actually going to do, right? So it's actually pretty cool to, when, once you start thinking in those terms. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you had fun. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends all that good stuff, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.